100 years ago, this now peaceful French countryside was torn apart during the Battle of Cambrai, and it was here that one of the most remarkable soldiers of the First World War, Brigadier General Roland Bradford, met his heroic death. Using old trench maps and a little bit of modern technology, I'm confident that we're standing on the exact location of the headquarters of Roland Bradford. It's hard to imagine with the sugar beet behind me here what this place would have been like a hundred years ago. Shells falling all around the crisis point of the Battle of Cambrai. Roland wasn't just a brilliant commander, he was also incredibly brave. He'd won the Victoria Cross at the Battle of the Somme the year before and he set out from this location into the shell fire to inspire his men. The Brigade Diary, written by those who knew him, records what happened. At about 10am, Brigadier General Roland Bradford left Brigade Headquarters and was not again seen alive. They brought Roland's body here to Hermier's Commonwealth War Grave Cemetery. Even at a distance, you can see the engraving of the Victoria Cross carved by the Commission upon the headstones of those brave few awarded the medal, and above it, the badge of his regiment, the Durham Light Infantry. But it isn't the badge, the rank, or even the Victoria Cross that first struck me when I saw this. It's this, his age, he's 25, he's the same age that I am, and he had already achieved so much in his short life, commanding thousands of men in battle, winning Britain's highest award for gallantry. All I really have to worry about is paying off my student debt. But they knew at the time that he was special. His commanding officer wrote, he was a very exceptional man, although only a boy. But Roland was only one part of the Bradford story. This is Duisson Cemetery, north of Arras, and here lies Roland's brother, James. He too fought with the Durhams, winning the military cross, and his grave too bears a Latin inscription meaning, it is sweet and proper to die for your country. Tragically, the same inscription is on a grave in Belgium. And this is George, the third of the fighting Bradfords to die within a year. George died during the Zeebrugge raid in Belgium in 1918, and he too was awarded the Victoria Cross the only pair of brothers to be awarded the Victoria Cross during the whole of the First World War. And what these guys did, these, these three brothers, and so many like them cared for by the War Graves Commission, they allowed people like me and my generation to live our childhoods fully, to be able to grow up slowly. And that's something we can be grateful for.